Trump stamp, trump stamp, one, two, three. I was long time no see. I hope all you uh, unruly misfits are keeping well. <laughs> I'm out in Tinglish Lake District and well as per running late probably got about two hours worth of daylight left but uh, well, a bit of a backstory while I'm while we're walking up shall I supposed to be out with um, Joey Von Pumpkin tits uh, but last minute is the his kid young Ulysses was ill all night so he's not had much kip and with this that and the other anyway he's not been able to come out um, we were going to go out tomorrow so do you know I just thought sod it sod it after work we'll drive up to the lakes because uh, it's forecast to... this this latch isn't making it anywhere near that that's not making it into lock and latch calendar that's a fact just not simply not good enough uh, I mean it's a it is good because it's a lock, but it's not calendar worthy, is it? Anyhow, yeah, so he yeah, decided to come up after work just on the... I looked at the forecast and it's terrible in Yorkshire and this was the only place that had a decent chance of a good bit of weather and by that I mean just a good... maybe some stars later on, like clear skies late at night and uh, some and a sunrise in mornings, clear skies in morning. So I'm gonna try and get up for that, providing we don't get too slurped up. <laughs> and then try and dunk the junk. I can't. It's here's what it is. I enjoy it. I know it's it's maybe just I do the same thing, and I am doing the same thing as I've done before. But I'll be doing it if you were here, if you were here or not because it's what I like to do but if you want to come along and see what we can find we might come up we might we might find some new stuff who knows like this I might ride that sheep back down hill who knows I won't like it couldn't take my weight couldn't take them couldn't take them biceps oh look at it though take my breath away uh, stand off look you're not standing off anything mate you look na you look done in are you all right mate are you all right do you want some uh, I got some aspirin or some red wine if you need all right mate you all look a bit haggard to be fair. You look, <laughs> you've seen better. Why aren't you moving, guy? They know though. I think everyone except, well, they don't know. They don't know, but the truth. The cold, hard truth is that, and I'll, t I'll tell them it right now, look. Yeah. If you lads really wanted to kick my dick in you could because how many one two three four five six seven nine ten eleven twelve there's a good slack handful of sheep here and they could just if they had like a hive mentality they could put me in a pen and shave me for well for jumpers that's brain power though kid i'm only slightly cleverer than you anyway Adios. <laughs> and that's sheep here. Something you'll you'll have to get accustomed to if you're walking in the Lake District. Medic! Right. <sighs> Made good progress. I'm officially up in mountains now. The only thing is that 
sun rises that way and I'm blocked by this by this beast so I'm going to put another shift in and see if we can get over the top of there so that hopefully in the morning digits crossed if we can see that big orange ball of goodness elevating itself over the horizon crack on don't know if you can see on here but it starts snowing <laughs> eee. ominous that's it though isn't it the, tr the forecast was oh it's quite beautiful quite uh, refreshing forecast was a little bit of a question mark really so if we get a bit of snow be a bonus Whew. look at them clouds there on the Rizzi snow clouds I'm gonna try and get to the top of there please don't be a false summit <laughs> don't be a false summit please yeah <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that is snowing! La beautiful! Woo! Oh, I need a drink of water, man. Hey, bye, gum. Woo! Topped out on her. Also, beautiful, isn't it? Look, look at you. Whew. I've got this bag on my back as well. It's not my. Yeah, lightweight bag. It's got um, it's got booze and camera gear in it and everything. And uh, scientifically, it's the equivalent of having both of Dolly Parton's tits on your back, which is it's crippling, to be honest. Oh, hey up, mate. Hey up, brother. <laughs> Oh man, look at it. Are we having it or not? Are we having that or not? Because I'm having that. Oh mate, I'm buzzing. School night as well, Friday. After work job. And I've got work tomorrow, working all weekends. This That's why I've not been doing many videos, because I'm in high demand as a landscaper. Unless someone wants, someone wants to pay me to do, I wouldn't even do this full time anyway. It'd become a job then, wouldn't it? Look at it. Regarde. Oh, buzzing, mate. I can't wait. Right. I'm going to get slurped up as well. Proper slurped. Not messing about either. Where's the best place for wigwam? <laughs> There's so many views, mate. It's, uh, look at me adjusting camera. I'm very professional, but that's not why we're here, is it? We're not here for professionalism and camera work. Otherwise, you'd go, you'd go and watch um, Mike and Dustin building a brothel out of lollipop sticks or whatever. <laughs> Shout out, you two legends. See you soon. I'll see you at the Bushcraft show, in fact. Uh, yeah, I'll be at the Bushcraft show if anyone's going. I'll be there for the Saturday and the Saturday night and uh, zombieing around maybe on the Sunday. Oh, it's stunning, right? Where are we going to go? Where's the best place for the tent? Let's turn this off. I better get the tent a shelter set up because the weather's doing everything. It's kind of flat, isn't it? Kind of flat. It's no, it's no witch's tip, but we'll have a, <laughs> we'll have a go. If you're going to do it right, do it when right. <laughs> yeah. Shout out the big man.
Done. It's little three minutes, took two miles and one mile, so let's go. I wanna free my mind tonight, I got one chance to let go. It's little three minutes, took two miles and one mile, so let's go. I just wanna free my mind tonight. My temperature's dropped. So I've got my uh, synthetic base layer on. I've got merino wool layer, my t shirt, and this windbreak, mammoth windbreak. And then my, my uh, down jacket that's zips bust on it and it's pretty much held together with duct tape. <laughs> I was walking through town the other day with my uh, my little one and um, I was just hemorrhaging feathers. Looked like, I'd been sh like a duck that had been blasted with a 12 gauge. <laughs> ah, my hands are cold holding this thing as well. But I'm happy as Larry. I'm happy as Larry. I'll give you a quick look round. I don't know why. I don't know why I do this. Because you've seen it, it's the same, I mean, it's Northern Monk beers. <sighs> Bottle of organic Spanish wine. And then it's the same old, um, it's my, same old stuff, mate. This is just for people who are new and who don't know. It's the Thermarest um, X Therm Extra Large. Sea to Summit Pillow, Alp Kit 3 Season Bag. That's lasted me all year, we've made it through winter. All year, one bag, whatever. Plenty of room in the Helm 2, which is the tent of choice at the moment. Oh, it's stunning, man. Well, I'm gonna crack, crack one of them beers open. Let's get stuck into one. the sun reflecting in the tarn. Beauty. How many 360s can I do but it just just each different cloud formation and the way the light reflects is each one's just as beautiful as the other and I can't it probably just doesn't come across on the camera as much but it is really really beautiful and uh, down there you can see that little reflection I don't have a zoom on this lens but you can just about make it out there that's Angle Tarn and that's the the sun reflecting off it and that's Ull's water down there and that's uh, Postman Pat's dick I think they call it <laughs> come on what would I'm to keep Getting, I'm keep procrastinating. Should be drinking this beer. Come on. Welcome to a new season of tales. Not tales from the tent. Tales just outside the tent. I'm gonna have this. Oh, just a quick one as well. Just so you know. This is the core range from uh, Northern Monk. You can find this in Morrison's along with New World. Um, and it's called Eternal. And they've started to do a like a, a twist range, so a twist on the original range of beers. And I've come up with an idea for this one. Eternally grapeful. Eternally grapeful. Grapefruit session IPA. If you're watching Northern Monk, get at me. Because someone's got to be watching. I've actually text the beer. <laughs> I've actually text my main man over at Northern Monk and with my, that idea but I don't know if it got picked if it might because he's a busy boy so it might have just got mixed up with all of the knob picks and that that I send him that's a joke um, but yeah eternally grateful that's a good idea isn't it eternally grateful grapefruit IPA make it happen and if it does happen you saw it here first that's not why I'm here because it's not got the bean it's not got the f it's not got the beetroot for me right now. 4.1, 6.2. Old logo, new logo. Can you see? This is just like you've leveled up on a computer game, is what I say. <laughs> Playing with this guy. Collect a load of crystals or uh, rollies or whatever you need to do, and then boom, leveled up. 
Now let's have a look at this. It's getting, it's ever so ominous over there. The sky's gone black. Yeah, black sky, ominous. But, uh, I don't fancy, I don't fancy the, uh, the time lapses uh, chances of the night of the stars, but I live in hope. Hope, hey, hope springs eternal. Hey, <laughs> there he is, pun meister, big pun. You don't want the wind to take away the David Bellamy, but it's just lovely. Oh, that's a good batch, is that? That is a good batch. Oh, dude. Just mint artwork. I just love them. I love them as a company as well. They try and do everything right. That's what I'm all about. Don't ever change, Northern Monk. Don't ever change. And I will get a tattoo. I will get a Northern Monk tattoo somewhere. Uh, I tattooed a dick on the bottom of my foot the other day and I'm not even joking. If I go while swimming in the morning, which at the moment I don't fancy because it's freezing, uh, if I go while swimming I'll show you it. I might have to get in the tent because it's so cold. It's just that wind's a bit biting. Fraggle boy. I'm waffling on. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'm going to be waffling. After I've had that and a bottle of vino, then you're going to see waffling. That's when I always cut it out, I always edit it out or just stop filming altogether because no one needs to stick around for them bits. What have I got to say while I'm here? While we're here chilling, what have I got to, uh, to share with you? Uh, um, what have I done since, since last time I saw you? If you don't follow me on Instagram, you won't know, but uh, I went to a festival at Northern Monk, Hop City Festival. Took Joey D along with me, got him in, met a few of you there. It was mint, and it made me want to be a barman. Fancy myself as a bit of a barman these days, so... <sighs> might ask to, might um, see if Northern Monk will have me as a, a part-time barman. I'll even do it just for free, just as a little hobby. Yeah, when? Right, it's the end of the night at Hop City, in, in tradition around here. So a glass out of the slops bucket. This is slops. Oh, it's a bit of it. Thanks for coming. Salute. <laughs> Not on a weekend though, because I don't want to be rushed off my feet. Tuesday night barman. Oh, I forgot my little list. I had a little list of people to thank for buying patches and not wanting them sending and doing things like that forgot that but thanks to everyone who's done that I appreciate it and um, to everyone this is a bit like negsy but I'm starting to increasingly get more and more people sort of messaging me all across social media like Facebook Instagram uh, emails YouTube whatever and uh, I can't reply to everybody I can't do it um, I sometimes can't even read everything um, I try and read everything but it's impossible to for me to answer clip like you know if people are sending me questions on instagram about landscape gardening like asking me tips on gardening i just can't do it or I, you know sometimes i will sometimes i'll try if i've got a bit of time i will but you know you strike up a conversation with someone you answer a few questions and then it turns into a conversation and next thing you know like at the beginning i was like you, you can have like all across different platforms, like hundred conversations going on, and then I too, I'm finding it really difficult because I, I run a business. I've got you know, I've got friends and family and stuff like that, that and, and that I struggle to keep keep in touch with because I'm so busy. So I do apologise to everybody that messages me and, and I don't message back. I do read it and I do appreciate it, but I get the odd one that sends me one or two. And then I start getting abuse because <laughs> I haven't got time to reply to everyone. And so there's been there's been a handful of people who've just sort of got get started giving me abuse because because I've not been able to um, reply to the to them and that. 
and to the, to everyone, uh, to all even the to everyone who's given me abuse as well. Like, I'm sorry, and um, I, I do read as much as I can, but I'm just too busy, and I and I um, so please don't be offended if I don't uh, message you back. It's just because I'm a busy bollock, but it's nothing but love. Salute. E. <laughs> right, it's cold. I could look at that. Claudio Reyna. I'm gonna hit the tent and then I'll sort of systematically keep um, looking out the door <laughs> to see if we get some clarity in the sky. And even when I go to sleep, I'm gonna set my alarm periodically. Um, every hour and I'm just gonna get up every hour and just see and just check it and as soon as I see a break in the clouds <sighs> I'm gonna rig up my cameras and uh, try and catch some stars or or some sort of moon shot or something <laughs> anyway let's get in the tent too bright mate too bright tails from the tent wow or as I like to call it content <laughs> content from the is there a way that you can do this without absolutely... Is there a way that I can do this without blinding myself? <laughs> Tails from the... Right, this is what we call... This is a new feature. Well, it's an... Ah, oh, bollocky bollocks. This is the new, the new feature. It's called... <laughs> it's, called... it's called... I'm an absolute divvy, isn't it? It's called content from the tent. <laughs> or just content. Right, this is how cold it is in tent. Cold. You can see, see your breath. I'm just chucking this into our face at the moment. Organic wine. No sulfur added. What are you doing adding sulfur in the first place? Like health and safety, the health and safety office has just been round. Um, he's done a breathalyzer on me and a, a risk assessment. Um, he says my PPE is all um, up to date and up to scratch, but because I've had two bevs and we're blasting, we're blasting through this bottle of wine. He says it's not wise for me to use a homemade uh, meth burning stove. In a tent, it just—it just, it just it could be the start of an episode of Casualty or something. Right, I'm talking absolute waffle now, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go bad. I've only got a few, only maybe a glass, a few slugs of the old vino left. So unless something mag or trage happens in the night. <laughs> Unless something mad jaw trad happens, yeah. Unless something mad jaw trad happens, I'll see you on tomorrow. Expected, but the clouds have sort of given way. Not bad. It's only half five, like, but you've got to get up to get these bits. <laughs> oh. Nippington McNippington. Come on. Let's be having you. Ah, I can't even hold this, man. It's just 
missed my penny stove that I made. <laughs> I actually made it out of a... Uh, out of a Northern Monk can. Because <laughs> obviously... Because uh, obs. This fanboy old way. And if you want one... If you, you know, no, if you want to know how to make this, I'll leave a link t to um, a, the video of me making it at the end of the video. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll leave a link <laughs> to the video of making this. I wine face. You bang a penny in the middle. That's just so that you can fill it up in these holes and then the penny sort of covers them and forces the uh, fuel out of here around this outside. There we go, that's the homemade penny stove in action. Ah. I was out like a light after two cans and a bottle of vino. But it's a lot windier and colder than I'd expected. And I've got the digits of a 98 year old well, of a 98 year old, so I struggle outside in cold with him. So I've set a little time lapse up and I'm just gonna boil some water, have a bit of breakfast, let the sun do its thing, hopefully it'll warm up a little bit and then uh, I'll get up and I said to myself I was gonna dunkus the junkus. Oh. But when it's frosty outside, it's hard to get head round it. Ah. Oh. We'll see. In fact, I'm going to do it because I've not had a dunk for a while, so we'll have a bit of a cold dunk of the junk. But yeah, the homemade penny stove doing well, look. Ah, it'd be nice to have some nice warm food in me. Seal the meal, and then uh, in winter or when it's cold, take about eight or ten minutes to warm up. But that's eight or ten minutes of that, either in your sleeping bag, up your jacket, <laughs> or just in your hands. And I'll just uh, that's like a little hot water bottle. Snow up top. <laughs> Get on it, kids. Woo! It's a bit too windy to set the drone up as well, so no night shots, no drone shots, so sorry about that. This is why you always clip always clip your tent by a guy line. <laughs> to your bag because that just wants to disappear. Nippy McNippington. We're down past the. Uh, it's a lot less uh, brutal as it was than it was up there. Whew! That was Nippington. Let's have a look how uh, how cold she is. It probe. <laughs> uh. Around two degrees, fluttering between around the two degrees mark. That's whatever, mate. 
I've got to get in. If we're going in, we're going in. And I'm... Am I? Yeah, I'm going in. <laughs> I had to think about it there, though, didn't I? Oh, this would be quick. I'll tell you this while I'm getting ready, so... Yeah, my uh, battery ran out on my phone, so I couldn't use the drone this morning. Plus, it was a bit too windy, so... No drone shots. It was... Uh, really overcast last night, so no... No star lapses either. <laughs> Which is, you know... It's not very good content for you. Ugh. Right, let's just get in here. Let me just quickly show you. The <laughs> right, we're going to get in there now. Before people start arriving. So yeah, I was at a... I was at someone's house overnight and they had a... They had their own tattoo gun. And uh, I was a bit drunk. And then... So they were like, I think you should... I think you should uh, uh, try and tattoo yourself. Uh, something you'll remember. It's quite, quite a good experience. And um, yeah. So, like I've always said, you know, if you give me a pen, I'll just draw a knob and balls. That's what I'll do. I always have. I just sort of tattooed uh, and uh, that a knob and balls on the bottom of my foot. Yeah, so that's that real tattoo on the bottom of my foot. If there are any kids watching, or even just adults, or anything, just uh, yeah, don't don't tattoo knobs on the bottom of your foot because a it hurts, and b it's, uh, you'll have a knob and knob tattoo on the bottom of your foot for a bit. So uh, I'm not I'm not going to make a meal out of this one. Not even gonna flinch. Flinch Eastwood, do it. Oh, I'm just literally just dunking the junk. I'm not swimming her out because I'm freezing. Come on. Oh, mate, no. All right, come on, fuck it. I mean, sorry, swearing. Ah, what's up? Oh, it's really <sighs> sharp underfoot, Lee. Front rock. Oh. Right. Oh. <laughs> right, Viva. Viva forever. Oh. Don't make a meal of it. Woo! Oh. <laughs> uh. <sighs> it's alright, it's alright. Oh, don't make a meal of it, getting better at that. Just. It is what it is. It's just cold. It's just temporary. Like the pain of tattooing a dick on your own foot. I just feel a bit like Gollum when I'm getting out of these bodies of water. Oh. Right, let's get dry. Oh. I'm alright though, it's fine. Just me digits and toes that hurt, but that's... Oh. I can live with it. Lived through a lot worse. Oh. These trunks are serving me well. Out there. <sighs> right, just a reflection of it. As I say, um, I was supposed to go out yesterday, uh, to, today, tonight, with JD, but um, his kid was a bit ill, so hope you feel better soon, uh, Ulysses Von Bramble Digits, and 
yeah so that's what happened there so i just thought of an imp i just impromptu took some stuff in but that's why it was a bit um hap i got a bit here a bit late i didn't get any drone footage or any night shots or anything but you got to see um the knob on the bottom of my foot so it's sw it's uh swings and roundabouts isn't it i feel happy because i've been in water and the sun's out now and i can feel the warmth of it just sort of making bringing my fingers back to life I mentioned it earlier, but I'll be at the Bushcraft Show this year, just for the Saturday and the Saturday night and maybe Sunday morning. Yeah, so I'll probably be just sat with Mike and Dustin having a few beers. So if you uh, if you see me at the Bushcraft Show, just come over, say hello. We'll have a natter and a swig. Look after yourselves. Be kind to yourselves. <sighs> Later. come quite far up here now committed to that little walk to come back to uh. I'm like Jordan, trying to rise on to the top Now yeah, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump They were war then, I let bygones be bygones Cause they bars all have gone bye by the month <laughs> I'm trying to be your icon from the jump They want war then I let bygones be bygones Kelly Buzz and I've gone by by the month